plant sterols in unsaturated fat raise the risk of heart disease. April 2020, and it was based on a randomised controlled trial that had been undertaken by the British Broadcasting Corporation. Um, and in this one, they actually funded a randomised controlled trial. And they got 96 adults to volunteer and they randomised those 96 adults to either 50 grams of coconut oil or 50 grams of olive oil or 50 grams of butter to be consumed in their diet every day for four weeks. And their conclusion was that LDL cholesterol was significantly, statistically significantly, not significantly in the normal sense of the word, significantly increased with butter compared with coconut oil and olive oil. And here are just some of the flaws. So first of all, they didn't mandate that everyone should keep their normal diet absolutely to the letter and then consume this 50 grams on top. It could be instead of. Now those are quite different fats. So if I was already using olive oil, let's say, I would probably just make sure that I was having 50 grams of olive oil a day, which might be a bit more than I normally have, but my life wouldn't actually change that much. If I were using a cholesterol lowering spread, big clue here, and I would put in the butter group, I would just swap out my cholesterol lowering spread for butter and then and make sure I'm having 50 grams of it. And then I've met my criteria there. Now, coconut oil is a bit different because it's probably not one that you would swap out as your normal cooking oil because it can overpower your vegetables. So that might be one that you just have on top. You just have a little shot of olive oil uh, to take part in the trial just before you go to bed. So more than one thing changed. We don't know what else was going on in those people's diets. And the plant sterile thing is so important. So now what happens when we consume plant sterols is that they compete in the gut to an extent with our human cholesterol and they win to an extent. So they do lower cholesterol. If you take plant sterols from a um, pharmacy or a health food store, or if you take cholesterol lowering margarine or Benacol, those crazy drinks um, with plant sterols, cholesterol lowering properties, they will lower your cholesterol. That's the mechanism by which they do it. So coconut oil and olive oil are having a separate impact on your cholesterol levels in a way that butter isn't. They didn't have matched groups at baseline. So when you've got 96 people and you're randomizing them to three different arms, you're underpowered to guarantee that you're going to get the same number of men in each group, the same average age in each group, the same ethnic mix in each group, BMI intake, all the rest of it. So they were not matched at baseline. And as a result of that, you absolutely cannot compare one group with each other. All that you can do is to compare one group at baseline with the same group at the end of the experiment. So you can compare butter at baseline with butter at the end of the experiment. And then it doesn't matter what the characteristics are of that butter group. So the outcome should have been compared within each group, start to finish, not unmatched groups with each other, which is what they did. Now, if you want a reference for the plant sterols and what's actually going on there, I did one during my PhD with my overall um, director of department, Julian Baker. Plant sterols, lower cholesterol, they absolutely do. This is only an 800 word article. It's a, it's a great one for a quick read and a quick reference. Um, absolutely, they lower cholesterol. But when I looked at the totality of the evidence, they increased the risk for coronary heart disease and they weren't that good for cancer either. Annotated and summarized easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points. In a randomized multigroup study, the BBC in April 2020 had three groups, no control group and no matching between groups. Dr. Harcom tells us the results. One of the flaws that she sees in the study it's not clear how the 50 grams of fat is added or substituted in the participant's diet. And it's likely that there are very different uses for each type of fat. Another flaw, plant sterols compete in our gut with human cholesterol and when they have a different impact on your cholesterol than butter. Another flaw, the study design is underpowered. There's no group matching on key characteristics. Therefore, one cannot compare one group to another group. The only comparison that can be done is each group to itself from the baseline to the end of the study. In a review of plant sterols by Dr. Harcomb, 
They lower cholesterol, but increase the risk for heart disease, and they are not good for cancer.